Kyle here with another tech tip. Today we have a BMW E60 model, which uh, is your 5 Series from about 2003 to 2010 or 11. Um, I am the Mercedes catalog manager, so not quite sure. However, we have this car here today because our customer experience manager, Joe Coppola, gave me a call this morning, uh, told me he loved me, and then he told me that his dash was going crazy, um, his TPMS indicator was just going crazy, the car was telling him to uh, stop, slow down, things like that. He was just getting messages that he wasn't accustomed to getting and he didn't know why. Uh, this is also after us having received a lot of rain and wind last night. So I want to show you something that happens on these cars. I also want to show you something that uh, you should be aware of and look out for if you're considering buying an E60 a 5 Series BMW. We are in the trunk and we're in the trunk because the trunk took on water, which is not typically a big deal. It normally is a result of a seal that has failed or the sunroof drains get blocked and the water backs up into the cabin, which is what happened here. Unfortunately, with these 5 Series models, when you remove the false floor and the spare tire, so let's get this tire out. Below the floor are a couple of modules. Um, and unfortunately, what happens is when water gets in the trunk, it fills up uh, and it ends up inside the modules and it wicks its way up the harness. When it wicks its way up the harness, the car can't communicate properly over CAN bus anymore. And that's when you start getting errors for your all wheel drive system, TPMS, your iDrive won't work properly, your Bluetooth won't work the way it's supposed to. Uh, it's just a whole mess. So, what you want to do in that situation, if you're noticing those symptoms, uh, the very first thing you can do, just a quick and dirty method, get this harness up and out of the way. Just put it somewhere out of the way temporarily, um, at least until you can resolve the water ingress problem. So a couple of other things that we noticed when we started uh, tearing into the trunk of this wagon, um, your battery is going to be located in a 5 Series on the right side. And in the battery tray, there was about an inch and a half of standing water. Uh, so. If you're noticing water coming in, you're definitely gonna to wanna to pull out your battery. Make sure you don't have standing water in this area. And if you do, take care of it because it will walk its way into a, a wiring harness that's down here and it'll cause some trouble. What happens with these guys, and I'll show you on one of these modules. Uh, this is the module for your tire pressure system, your tire pressure monitoring system. If you unlock the connector, what you'll notice here is this, uh, this green buildup, this mild green buildup and you have green buildup on the pins in the connector. That's the first sign uh, that you have corrosion. And what typically is the case is it's not just here, it's actually inside the module. So what I like to do is pop these open and take a look inside. Uh, you'll see on the board a lot of that green buildup also. So this module is pretty much fried. The water has damaged it. It's going to need to be replaced. If you're having a hard time inspecting things, you can pop the board out and take a good look at it. You can see here, this is, there's no coming back from this one. Now taking a look at this other module, to compare what you'll notice, all of the pins are in great condition. There's still a bright silver color. If we pop this guy open, I have no buildup. The board looks really good. I can see the board is in really good condition. So this module can be reused. This one's a mess. And because the car is having communication interruptions, we're gonna keep it unplugged for the time being. In order to prevent these modules from getting exposed to a situation like that in the future, BMW actually has a bracket that you can purchase and you can uh, mount these guys on the left side behind this cosmetic cover. So you have a cover here. This is typically the cover where you have your tools and your fuses and everything else. There's actually a bracket that goes here and then everything gets mounted in this area, high and up away from a possible water ingress situation. BMW used to do repairs on this as part of uh, a bulletin at no cost to customers. They stopped doing that around August or November of last year. So unfortunately, at the dealer level, you're not gonna be able to get this replaced at no cost. Um, in the past, I've had used modules that I've purchased, uh, installed in cars, and had them coated out for the car. Uh, you can do that, you can get a new model uh, module, sorry. If the problem is bad enough where it has damaged the harness, unfortunately, you're gonna be replacing connectors and maybe even a trunk wiring harness, uh, which is a bear to do. So if you're noticing the symptoms I've described or you're looking for one of these vehicles, uh, definitely take a peek in the trunk and see what's going on there. This has been another tech tip. Thank you guys for watching.